Hi guys! So I have a MAC uh, review for you here. Um, it's also kind of, a, kind of a haul, but more of a review. And it is of the MAC Troll Collection, which I'm so super excited for, and that's why I have all my little troll earrings today. These are like the little cherub ones. I have a bunch. I normally have all these open, but I wanted to show you guys the packaging. It's like all the hair that is so freaking cute. Uh, this is the beauty powder that I got. This is in the shade Glow Rida. Look at this! Oh my gosh, it's so precious. And it's got the little troll stamped on it. It's so cute. I do have this actually all over my face today. I did use it as kind of a blending powder. Uh, I'm not going to lie, when I swatched it, you see there's like nothing there. When you when you swatch it on your skin, there's nothing there. It's It kind of swatches badly like nothing comes up it looks like there's literally nothing you can like dig and up on a big fluffy brush today and used it all over my face and it came off like gorgeous it gave my whole sorry my hair is kind of like fly away uh it gave my hair it gave my hair it gave my face this like whole like gorgeous glow very like subtle shimmer all over my face which if that's not your thing this might not be for you this one and the lipsticks even when I'm done with these I will keep them forever use them for something else whatever because the packaging is too cute I'll probably keep some of the boxes too I used to collect trolls when I was younger and I still love trolls I have two trolls up in my cabinet I have like a Frankenstein troll and like a Grim Reaper troll my grandpa used to collect trolls and he gave me his whole like mini collection when I was much much younger I got two of the lip glasses from this collection bubble butt and I love the packaging! Look at it, it's so cute and sparkly! This is so beautiful. I'm not even sure if it's gonna come completely through on camera, but it's like, it's it's bright bubblegum pink, and then it's got like blue, blue and pink shimmer glitter in it. But it's basically like this whole bottle, like the pink and then like the blue in it. It's really, really pretty. It doesn't feel sticky to me. I know a lot of people have a problem with that with the lip glasses. I didn't have an issue with it. Saint Germain which that's one of their normal ones, but I liked or really wanted it in the limited edition packaging. Everyone knows this color. It's just like a bright Barbie pink. It's that one right there. Really, really pretty. That tempted me too because I actually didn't have it, surprising or not. I actually went and bought the St. Germain lipstick. The lipstick, I don't know if you can tell, is actually much warmer than the lip gloss, and I think these two together will actually make a beautiful combo. I know they're supposed to be the same color, but I kind of like the fact that the lipstick is just like a little bit warmer than the lip gloss. I only got one eyeshadow from their collection, and it is in the shade Suns Out, Buns Out. So cute! And it's this really, really pretty gold color with, again, the little troll embossment on it. I That is just so freaking cute. And I'm noticing because it's like stamped in there, the troll isn't like going away as much when like you're using it and you're swatching it, which I really appreciate. Even though it's not like super crazy pigmented, it's really metallic, so you get that like gold shift. And you can use it wet, so that will probably amp it up a lot too. Really, really start out. lighting. You guys have been doing this like in the late afternoon, so like the lighting outside was like washing me out completely, and then my overhead lighting is not very good, so I'm sorry if like this kind of looks maybe a little crappier than normal. Um, and then I did get three of the lipsticks. Is it Dance Off, Pants Off. And... The packaging for the lipsticks, I am so freaking obsessed oh, look with at this. this. Look at it. Look at it. It's so pretty. And it's coming off like bright ass orange on the camera, but it's really more of like a neon coral in person. Oh. So this is Dance Off Pants Off. And it's again, it's like a bright, bright pink with kind of like blue shimmer to it, which kind of goes with the Bubble Bud lip gloss. One right there. Really super smooth. This is a frost lipstick. This one is in Sushi Kiss, which is also one of their normal ones. Comment down below and let me know, didn't they have a Sushi Flower lipstick? Is this the same lipstick as Sushi Kiss? Is it a little, a little bit different? Was there never a Sushi Flower lipstick? Comment down below. Yeah, this one is Sushi Kiss, and of course, I wanted this one anyway, so when I saw it in this like adorable packaging, I'm like, nah, I have even a more reason to get it. And I am so obsessed with this color, not just because I love sushi, but it is this bright-ass coral orange. Like, basically, it's the exact same color as this packaging. Jane. It is so beautiful. No, it's a satin. It's so beautiful. So crazy pigmented. This is Can't Be Tamed, which is actually what I have on my lips right now. 
I'm not sure if the color is coming through so great on camera. I'm hoping it is. This is this is a cream sheen lipstick. Do you see that? It's so pretty. This was the product that made me want to go check out the Troll Collection to begin with. I saw this on their Instagram. Maybe, yeah, it was their Instagram. And I was like, what is that? Green lipstick is my absolute favorite color of lipstick. If I could only ever wear one color lipstick for the rest of my life, it would be green. Any kind of shade of green. And it's kind of sheer. Like, I, you really want to exfoliate your lips when you use this because I exfoliate, I exfoliate my lips like three times a day and it was still kind of like catching on any like lines or anything. But I noticed if you just put a whole, like put a couple layers on, blot it, and then put it over again, it works a lot better. Make sure any lip balm is off or it kind of gets like slippery and more sheer. That's it right, right there. And again on my lips. And it's just, it's it's a very yellow green. It, it's like a high, it's basically a highlighter green, which I love. I've never seen a lipstick color like this in my life. I think it is so pretty right up my alley. It's, uh, did I say the name of this? This can't be tamed. I love all of this. I have nothing bad to say about any of them. Like I said, the, uh, the beauty powder was a little disappointing when you swatch it because you're seriously swatching and you're like, nothing is there. Nothing's happening. But if I loaded it up on a big fluffy brush and I could actually see it, I think it's a beautiful blending powder. It's really soft. Um, I did, uh, restock my Fix Plus. I just got the little one this time just because, and I got a free cleanse off oil with my purchase. So sorry about the lighting, you guys if it's a little wonky this time or whatever um but yeah I have a tutorial coming soon for you guys I'm just trying to figure out a time like I have a new job and new work schedule and stuff like that so I'm trying to figure out a, a time to um do that for you guys let me know if you prefer uh talk through tutorials or if you prefer voiceover tutorials because I kind of prefer voiceovers but you tell me because I'm trying to figure out which one to do with that. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye!